here is another bone marrow biopsy. That's why it looks like a core of bone is because somebody stuck in a needle that might have been one or two or three millimeters thick probably put it into the uh, iliac bone and uh, surgically removed a little plug of marrow. This is done all the time and it's a perfectly safe procedure and if it's done properly it's usually not any more painful than getting your blood drawn. You could see that parts of this bone marrow, even from this low power, look kind of normal in that there is a good 50-50 uh, mixture between fat and cells. You will also notice, however, that there are many areas of this biopsy, particularly close to the spicules, like here, like here, like he especially here, like here, and all like here, that appear to be 100% cellular. Well, why is that? Well, I really hate to show you this so early, but basically, this is a lymphoma that has involved the bone marrow. And when lymphomas involve the bone marrow, they are often, if not usually, perispicular. And the uh, bone marrow widely between the spicules may be totally normal. Uh, there is often a, a nice little normal range for population of cells within a bone marrow. You know that plasma cells should not be more than a couple percent normally, maybe five or ten if there's some good benign reason to. But when you get to the 15, 20 percent population, you could probably diagnose multiple myeloma. The same general theory for lymphocytes as well. Lymphocytes can be normally 2, 3, 5%, maybe a little bit more in the marrow. But when you start to see them as being a perhaps majority of the population of cells, even if the majority is in one certain area, like here, for example, in which 90% of the cells are lymphocytes, as compared to this uh, megakaryocyte here, you can probably say whenever you have a significant number of cells as population of the marrow or sheets of cells in which they're all the same kind, that this is not a benign reactive process, but this is a replacement of the bone marrow by malignant lymphocytes. And indeed, this is a lymphoma uh, that has metastasized to the bone marrow. Once a lymphoma metastasizes to the bone marrow, it then becomes high stage. It is no longer limited to lymph nodes uh, in the body, and now it is within the bone marrow, and that makes it uh, infinitely more difficult to treat than if the lymphoma is limited to the lymph node or lymph node group. Let's just, uh, we can't click any higher. I wish we could but I think you can really understand that these are rather normal looking lymphocytes, but they're a significant percentage of the cells. And in this case, they're all lymphocytes. So by definition, that makes it malignant. Thank you very much.